Hello everybody, welcome back to the Union Pacific N scale Willow Creek subdivision layout. My name is Scott, the owner builder of the layout. If you're new here, welcome. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, share, comment, anything you want to do. If you're a returning viewer, thank you very much for uh, for coming back on and, and um, checking this video out. So first things first on the agenda today, we've got a new turnout to be installed on the layout here to improve operations in um, my Eastern Transfer building at Caliente. <clears throat> Uh, following that, um, we're going to do a little bit of an update on the steel mill since the conversion from gravel to iron ore and I'll just show you what I've done to sort of make that believable when the iron ore is dumped off and um, and also I've done a couple of little modifications and, and add additions to the steel mill plus a put in a new road and bits and pieces like that so um, that's all coming up in the video so please stay tuned and um, hope you've enjoyed. Okay, so what I've been uh, thinking about while well, I've been um, converting my iron ore mine and that is the, what I call the Eastern Transfer Buildings, which are along the, the backdrop over here. And there's the siding. You can only access this siding from the other side of the backdrop there, um, coming out of Willow Creek. So each time I want to switch this industry, I have to um, propel, push the rail cars into this into here, come around the back scene and finish spotting them where I need to be. So I was thinking I could just drive the drive the train in on my iron ore track, come up and um, and spot them in that way. You know, a heck of a lot easier and a lot of less stuffing around. So what I decided to do is I've excuse me. I found a um a a, a left hand I believe they're a Pico number six. And um, this one here, it's not electrofrog. I'm not really too fussed about this. This track only carries the uh, locomotive for when I run around the iron ore trains. And this industry here is switched, um, you know, not that often. But I still want to have the comfort of putting this turnout in. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that into the existing track. I'm not going to use the push pull rods that I use. Um, the main reason for the push pull rods is they activate a micro switch which changes the polarity. Obviously, this is an initial frog, so I'm not going to bother about that. I don't use it that much. That um, reaching across the layout to to switch it every once, every few often, it's um, it's not really a biggie, and it's a, a lot of uh, heck of a lot of extra work for what the uh, the turnouts for. So uh, we'll get into it and um, we'll go through the process of me just cutting in this turnout. Okay, so now with that turn it put in there, um, I'll just go, uh, I was painted it and ballasted it as there. I've got videos on that, don't want to bore you on that. There's Dave, probably stuck. Um, yeah, so it came up actually really well. Um, didn't take a lot, and um, I'm happy with it, and it definitely uh, makes it a lot easier to switch in and out this industry here, less of a hassle, so that was a win. Okay, so moving on, um, as I said with the, the steel mill upgrades, this is basically what uh, what the mill looks like now. 
and um, I'm just going to go through with a couple of little bits and pieces that um, that I added in. One of the um, the major pieces here, I actually put in a road, a crossing here, um, to get over these four sections of track at the moment, and that road basically comes along and it's going over to where I've got my casting um, building going in at the moment there. I'm still working on that, that's still a work in progress. And um, so I put that one in, and that's just grout powder. And um, the track is five millimeter by one millimeter basswood strips that you get off building. I, I used to build wooden model ships, so um, I have a lot of these uh, wooden strips left over and it's just perfect for the gaps between the rails here on, on the, an end scale. So I use those. Put in a little um, railway crossing sign, a bit of a barrier, I've still got to paint the posts on that barrier. And here is basically what we have been doing. We've got, so from the rotary dumper doing the conversion with iron ore, there's actually an iron ore train sitting there, it hasn't been unloaded yet. But once the uh, material was dropped out of the, um, the rotary dumper there, um, it comes along, and what I've done here, I've built this little shed and a conveyor that goes up to the steel mill. Now I don't think that's actually how steel mills work. I'm not too sure, but it works for me and it sells the story for me. So yeah, basically the iron ore trains, they dump there, comes through the process building there and um, up into the steel mill. And I actually finished off the steel mill. I added this pipe and this section of pipe up here and um, to sort of finish off the steel mill. Now there's a lot of weathering to do here. I know this is all uh, silver. It's going to be heavily weathered with an airbrush to a, a rusty color. That silver is basically like a base color, um, pretty much. So yeah, that was a there was a bit of an update on the the steel mill there. I've got yeah, there's Dave again. So basically. <clears throat> I've got another couple of tiny little bits and pieces to do here apart from the painting side of things and um, and this section here should should be finished but I'm, I'm sort of happy how that turned out and it sells it a lot better I mean if I took a photo a couple of months ago um, definitely didn't look like that but um, as we swing back over here as we saw the uh, the turnout before that's the one uh, I put in at the start of the video it just makes the whole area look um, a little bit more better to, to operate there so that pretty much concludes this uh, small little video here of the switch installation and the uh, steel mill upgrade um, as I said in the video I have got two more locomotive power um, arriving there actually one's going through a conversion and uh, there's having a couple of bits and pieces done to it so that'll come out in the next video there and um, yeah, so I thank you very much for your patience in, um, in watching this, been taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, as I said before, please like, subscribe, share, and if there's any comments, any comments, if there's anything you want to know, drop it in the comments um, down below there and I will reply to you. But um, yeah, until next time, thank you so much for your patience. Please take it easy everyone and stay safe and we'll see you all on the next one. Thanks everyone.